so in this video we are gonna go say what's up to Peter Guns. Let's check it out. Well, this is something that you don't see pretty often. We got my main man, the Fro Rider, rocking the Prius. Rocking the Prius. Come on, man. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. It's good for the environment. Silence killer. Go, go. <laughs> oh, how did I get stuck behind a Prius? How did that happen? <laughs> What's going on YouTube? BK Low is back in the building. As you can see, we are out here in Brooklyn going for a ride with my main man, the Fro Rider. Our good friend Peter Guns has been away in uh, Japan for a little while now and he uh, got home a couple days ago. I wanted to say what's up to him, but he was running errands yesterday, so the fro rider hit me up and said that he was heading over to see him because I guess he uh, is bringing him a Lexan FT4 that um, Mark from Lexan wanted him to have, so we're gonna go deliver him that Lexan FT4. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say what's up because I haven't seen him in a minute since his uh, birthday. <laughs> and yeah, I never thought I'd be riding alongside my main man, the Fro Rider, in a Prius. Look at that beautiful train shot. He's gonna kill me, man. <laughs> it's all good, it's nothing but love. <laughs> Neither him nor I take ourselves too seriously. But yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing. You know, we're just taking a little rip around Brooklyn, saying what's up to Peter. Give him his Lexan FT4 Pro. Shout out to Lexan. And yeah, it's just a beautiful day out here in February, man. Another really nice one. We've been blessed with really nice days. Sorry, bro. I can't sit behind that nonsense on a bike. So yeah, it'll be good to see Peter. It's always good to see the uh, museum of bikes that he has in his uh, in his house. I do plan on doing like a. Uh, expose or whatever you call it a focused video for each of his bikes so you can kind of see what he's working with maybe hear the story of each bike where it came from and um, yeah so we'll probably be shooting that I don't know maybe in the spring and because you know a lot of people see when I post his bikes or they see it in videos and they ask me a lot of questions about it so I figured you know what I'm just gonna start making like focus videos for any of my friends that have really interesting bikes and do it kind of like interview style. So you could expect that to be coming up. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep rolling. I will throw up some clips of our uh, PG visit. And yeah, man, hope you all enjoy. I'll pick it back up in a little bit. Peace.
was fun. It was good to see you, Peter Guns. Welcome home. We all missed you. But yeah, man, um, it's been the first time we've seen him since he left for Japan, so it was good to see him. And right now, we are just cruising into the sunset. That's right. Ride the Harley into the sunset. Look at that, man. Nothing like a beautiful Brooklyn sunset. What a good day. But yeah, Peter was stoked for his uh, new Lexan FT4. He was talking about getting one for uh, his lady so that they could uh, communicate on those longer rides. Shout out again to Mark from Lexan hooking it up. And if you're someone that's thinking about pulling the trigger on a comm unit such as the Lexan, I do have a discount code that you could use to save you a little bit of money. So if you do go to buy it, go ahead and use this discount code to save that money. And yeah, man. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, clips that, that I threw up there, you know. It's always like walking into some sort of museum every time I go to Peter's house. Uh, we were def I was definitely enjoying myself just hanging out, checking out his FXRs. You know, every time I sit on one of those FXRs, I'm just like, yeah, this is what I need to do one day. Don't get me wrong, you know, I love my Dinas, I do, but sitting on those FXRs, there's just nothing like it, man, especially for me, you know, I'm only, I'm only 5'7", like, I'm a smaller dude, so I feel like the FXRs could be a lot of fun. So, I, I mean, we were, we were just talking about it, and he was like, you know, man, you should just sell that Sporty that you and your dad have, and... You know, then you're like halfway there, and I never really thought about that. It's like, we don't really ride it that much. Maybe we should do that and try to find an FXR to work on. You know, we already did the uh, 06 project. That's pretty much done. Speaking of which, every time I bring up that bike, everyone's like, I never see you on that bike. That bike doesn't really get a lot of love, so I think um, I'm going to have to give that bike a little bit more love in the new riding season. Shout out to the 06 116 Dyna. We do love you. And I hope you're enjoying this beautiful evening here in Brooklyn on this pleasant February day. I'm gonna close this one out for now. Ooh, look at this guy. What is that thing? It's like a Batman motorcycle or something. Yeah, we're gonna close this video out here. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs> Getting a lot of side eye for that type of backfire. Cool murals, man. Never seen that one. Cool little tiger over there. The end hate mural, spray painted with someone else's graffiti. True that though, man. End hate. Nothing but love in 2020. But as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there and stay low. And BK Low is out.